A very common task that's often forgotten when we build or after we build a new Django app is actually then registering the new Django application so that Django then is aware of our new application we've just created. We have now seen to create a new Django project, we run the start project command that builds a new Django project. At this point, Django is aware and knows about this new Django project here called core and all the files and maybe the settings that we change within this. I explained in the previous tutorial that our application is generally made up of multiple apps. By breaking down our application into smaller chunks, it makes our application easier to build and manage. Whenever we create a new application, we need to tell Django or register this new application with our core project. By registering our new app within our core project here, it means that whenever we run Django, Django will not only look for our core project folder, but it will also look for all the apps that is associated to our project. Now, this may not be very important at the start of your project, but once you start building models and views and templates and so on, Django is going to need to know about them and it won't know about them in these individual apps unless we have told or have registered our new applications within our core settings file. This is a very simple process. Now it might change, the process might change depending on where your application is or has been created. Now here we're using, let's call this the default approach, whereby we created a new app in the previous tutorial in the root folder of our project here. Now, if we were to create this project like we demonstrated inside the core folder, registering this product would be slightly different, but we're just going to follow this approach for now. So here we have the app in our core project folder here. So we go into core, that's our main project folder that we created and go into settings. Now, if we go further down in our settings, starting at line 33, we have the installed apps. This specifies all the current apps that are currently installed that we want to connect to this project that we've built. Now, notice that Django has already populated this installed apps area with some different apps that will be very useful for when you're starting a new application. For example, static files, if you have or building a website which has static files such as JavaScript files, CSS files and so on. So that gives us that type of facility. Django provides messages. We can pass messages from Django to maybe the, the website. So we have that, sessions, content types, orphan admins. These are all tools that will be very useful when we're building applications. We can remove them if we don't need any of these services. However, generally, and for now, we're not going to do that. Now, what we need to do is register our new application. And it's very simple. We simply just need to pass the name of the app. So new app. Now, I always recommend it's not necessarily needed, needed but I always recommend to include the comma at the end because it's so easy to forget it when you build a new app and then that will cause an error. So just out of practice, add a comma at the end. So to summarize what we've learned here, don't forget to register your app in the settings file whenever you build a new app. 